Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali and I'm with my friend Claire. Hi. And she and her boyfriend Preston are actually visiting me and Ryan here in Austin. They're from Atlanta and <laughs> well Ryan went to like pretty much all schooling with Preston. And then did you go to my elementary school? Did we go to Sweet yes, Apple? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we kind of grew up but like we weren't like super close like growing up and then yeah. like they started dating and then now we're friends. Yeah. <laughs> I love that for us. We took him to Terry Black's last night. So good. I want tacos. <laughs> yes, we're gonna definitely get some street tacos. A lot of eating, but a lot of like sightseeing too. Today, me and Claire are gonna go to South Congress. We're gonna get some sweet green. I've never actually tried this, so yeah. it'll be really good. And then we're gonna go to the domain and do some shopping while the boys play golf. <laughs> No, 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 no. It was okay. like an avocado salad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I got the hot honey chicken bowl, which I think is like a limited time. I don't know. It looks like it. And it was pretty good. I don't know if I would crave it, though. I'm still on the hunt for something that could replace my fresh kitchen back in Florida. You guys go to UCF or like are from Tampa, you guys would know. Fresh kitchen is like, they have my heart. So I'm just trying to find something that's similar. So if you guys are from Austin, and know something that's similar let me know but we're gonna check out neighborhood goods i've always wanted to go in here it's like been open for a while i just never really looked in it's kind of like more of a curated shop so let's check it out As you guys know, I'm moving soon and I kind of want to get a couple new furniture pieces possibly. So we were going to head to Pottery Barn, but then I saw Crate and Barrel and I was like, okay, we have to go to Crate and Barrel. So we're heading to Crate and Barrel, then we're going to hit a Potty Barn, po uh, Pottery Barn, not <laughs> Potty Barn, and then we're going to go to the Domains. Love my makeup on my mask. <laughs> we made it to the domain. I'm just gonna vlog on my phone since I don't really want to carry around my camera. But we're gonna hit up Nordstrom and get some Starbucks because we're freaking tired. I'm so tired. We're in a food coma. So Claire actually works for Spanx in Atlanta, <laughs> and we just passed like the Spanx and all all of her little products. I know. What is know. your What is your role in Spanx? I am in sales, and I'm also part of our digital marketing team as well. So. I do a, lot. a cool job. <laughs> I do a lot there, um, but I love our products. It's cool. Uh, I know all the style numbers. <laughs> I know, she was like 2004. I was like, what <laughs> are you talking about? <laughs> you mean styling help? Got you. <laughs> morning it is actually like a random Thursday so that vlog footage you just saw was from a weekend that our friends came so actually this past weekend but then I just ended up not vlogging because it was like raining and we didn't really do too much um, but it was so nice to spend time with them. I'm just so excited that they finally got to visit us in Austin. I thought I would just add to the vlog do some updates because tomorrow 
I get the keys to our new place. We finally picked a place and we are moving to the east side of Austin. I'm so excited. Um, we currently live in Riverside. I've been doing so many like apartment touring videos and we finally settled on the east side. That was like the second um, like area I toured here in Austin and it's just a really up and coming area with a lot of cool bars like Honor Street has like a new bar and we could walk to like a brewery so it's gonna be really cool definitely like a different atmosphere than where we live now because we live I guess like near trees you can't really walk anywhere and I don't think it's very safe to walk anywhere which honestly East Austin definitely has its crime too so I don't know if I'd be too comfortable walking alone but like at least I can walk to the brewery with Ryan so that's gonna be really fun and it just doesn't feel real because we haven't packed up anything and I just don't even know where to start but technically we get our keys tomorrow but holy crap are you okay Sophie literally just like <laughs> she scared herself I guess there was a bug or something that was weird okay so we get our keys tomorrow and then we are gonna just like move in the next weekend, like June 5th or something. And when I was on the phone with like the guy at the front desk at our new apartment complex, he was like, yeah, are you, are you actually moving in tomorrow? I was like, I mean, no, but like why? And he was like, well, you, sh you probably shouldn't because there's like too many people moving in at the same time. I was like, well, what if I was? Like, that's kind of weird because that's like literally my move-in date, but whatever. So I guess it worked out like that because Ryan's mom is going to come down and I think we're going to hire movers. I'm not really sure what the situation is. Like I said, we don't know where to start, <laughs> but I did buy this like a hundred dollar wagon on Amazon because I was thinking since we live in an apartment complex with a parking garage now and actually we'll have a elevator thank God. Um, I was thinking that would be a good thing to have just like for groceries or like if there's some like big package in my car, I could always just like pull the wagon and that will be easy, but it's also going to be like nice for like moving stuff. And then also this place that we're in right now, we have it till June 13th. So we have like a good bit of overlap to like move slowly, which is awesome. Cause then I won't have to like really pack everything up in boxes all at once. I can like do the kitchen stuff one trip and then come back and like do some other stuff. I don't know, but I'm like stressing out because I kind of wanted new furniture just to like switch things up at least like in the guest room. Um, and maybe the living room, like our bedroom is totally fine. I love our bedroom but actually we need a dresser for the bedroom. So like there's just random things that we need because we do need a little bit more storage. We're not gonna have like as big of closets as we do here. So we're gonna get some dressers for each room and yeah, there's just a lot of things that we need to get. We also need new bar stools. These aren't gonna cut it because it's just like, it'll look weird. I just have a feeling. Anyways, we only have two and I feel like the bar or the island there is a little bit longer. So, Today I got Starbucks and for the first time I wasn't craving something milky. So I just got this new uh, strawberry acai <clears throat> lemonade. It's pretty good. I'm like heating up my sausage, egg and cheddar because um, Ryan and I just went to Starbucks really quick to grab it. And I got home literally with like five minutes to spare because I had a call and I totally forgot that I had a call. So it was like a 45 minute call. I didn't get to eat my sausage, egg and cheddar. So. That's okay, I'm heating up now. Today I'm obviously working and then um, I need to get like paint from Home Depot because tomorrow when I get the keys, I'm actually meeting a painter. I hired this guy off TaskRabbit to come paint our place white. So that's really exciting because our place right now, as you can see, it's kind of like a beige, like gray thing. It's more on the beige side, I would say. And it just like doesn't look very great. Like it just doesn't look as bright as like white would be. So we're gonna go pick out the paint at Home Depot tonight and tomorrow he's gonna paint the whole place. And that's another reason why I didn't wanna move because I needed the whole place to be painted so we didn't have to like cover our furniture or anything like that. Um, but yeah, very exciting updates. I'm just like, it just doesn't feel real almost. Um, but I feel like everything is gonna move very fast. This weekend I'm going on a boat finally, my first boat of the summer. You guys don't understand how freaking hyped I am. I'm that bitch that plays like a mermaid in the pool and also our new place has like a really nice pool. Actually they have two and I'm just like really excited for the amenities because our place right now, the, the apartment itself like is beautiful. It's huge. Like we literally like pay 
such a good rate for what we are getting, but it doesn't have like luxury amenities, I would say. So our new place definitely does. I guess I'll update you guys throughout the day if I think of anything else. Um, definitely gonna take you guys with me to Home Depot because how am I gonna pick between like 500 shades of white? This will be very interesting. It's a little bit later now and I honestly feel like I need a chug, like an energy drink, but I just put on like a pimple pouch because something is coming up. But I need to start like posting things on Facebook Marketplace, but I really, really don't want to. Ryan's idea of like moving is bring everything there and then decide what fits. And I'm like, I feel like you should just get rid of the things that you don't want or like think that don't fit. Just get, or not that don't fit, but things that you don't use, just get rid of them here because you're not using them anyways, you know? So I'm gonna do it my way, <laughs> for my stuff at least. So um, I think I said this on the vlog, but I'm gonna get try to get rid of my guitar because I haven't used that thing in so long. And then just like some other random stuff, like, oh my God, I bought like a Vitamix a while back and never got rid of my like Walmart blender. So I need to do that. See if I remember how to even play. It's definitely gonna be very um, out of tune. <laughs> That sounds so bad. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Whoever buys it is gonna need to know how to tune it. And then I think this like broke the little string thing. <laughs> it's also so dusty. Oh well. I'm done with work for the week. It is Friday, it is the weekend for me. It's technically not Friday, it's Thursday, but you know, you get what I mean. It is laundry day, so our house is kind of like a pigsty. But I have a grad shoot at 3.30, so I need to leave now. So I'm gonna go get on the road and I'll update you guys later when we go to like Home Depot and everything like that. I feel like I never have anything in the house that I actually want to eat. So I just went and bought some like pre-made stuff because I just, I'm not in the mood to like cook. So I got some pre-made stuff. This is tonight's dinner also. Oops, I don't know if that was out of focus, but this is a Philadelphia roll. I'm so sad because I was really, really hoping for a spring roll to be there, but there were none. There's usually like so many. Um, and then I got, also, I went shopping at HEB if I didn't say that. This is like one of my favorite um, like pre-made meals. You just have to like heat it up in the oven. It's like uh, pork tamales. It's so freaking good. So that could be one of my weekend meals. I got some pads. I'm gonna try out a new brand. This is Cora. I don't know, they're organic. And I definitely, definitely notice a difference when I wear organic pads because they're just this is a little TMI, but they're just not as itchy. Like that's the major thing I notice. They have so many like tropical fruits that my grandma would get in California slash like that are in other parts of the world. But these are lychees, which, you know, they're not as like, I feel like they're not as rare, but my grandma would always get these when I went to California. Um, they're so freaking good. You do have to do a little bit of work to get to them, but it's worth it. Here's my pre-made salad. So I tried to be a little bit healthier. Oh my God, I literally stocked up on random like drinks. This one was calling my name. I got coconut water, passion fruit with, with vitamin C. That sounds so good, so I'm really excited to try that. Um, we were out of sesame oil. I love using that if I just wanna like quickly make fried rice or something. And then this is like, the best granola i tried to use something else because this was out the last time and it wasn't as good as this one and i like barely can eat the other one because like that kind one is so good it's the oats and honey granola and let's see got some tomatoes because i'm really craving like i saw someone post an instagram story tomatoes just like sliced with pepper and salt on them and oh my gosh i feel like that's just such a refreshing snack so i was craving that these are what i'm really excited about let me show you so these are passion fruit they smell sour okay this is what it looks like 
and I literally asked the HEB guy, I was like, how do you tell if one is ripe? And he was like, I don't know, I just started working here. I was like, okay, it was worth the shot. Like, then I just had to Google it. But basically, it said when it gets really, really purple, and when it gets like, this one's kind of like wrinkled, and you can like kind of like push it in, then that means it's ripe. So I think I'm gonna wait a little bit just because I don't wanna waste these. These were literally $5, five, five something, so like $6 each. This thing. But like, I'm telling you guys, I've never seen passion fruit in just like a HEB or just like a regular store before, so I know that they're rare, so I wanted to just buy three. Whenever I'm feeling like stressed out or just want to unwind, I love going to the grocery store because I just go down every aisle and just see what I can find that's new, new snacks to try. So I found this. This is Thai iced tea. It's just a tea bag and then you just add your milk. And I was like, oh my God, Ryan and I love Thai iced tea. So I hope it's good. Then I got some avocados and some mangoes because it's mango season. So if you guys didn't know that, now you know, go get your mangoes. Go get tahine because tahine and mangoes is superior like it is so good all right now we're going to the bag that's not the healthiest but it's okay because sometimes you just gotta treat yourself i've been craving oreos this pizza is so good okay this pizza is one of my favorites it's the california pizza kitchen um with cauliflower crust and then i found my poppy drinks at heb and this is my favorite flavor the raspberry raspberry rose one i went ahead and got two of those and then i got the orange flavor which i've never tried i ate dinner i showered took sophie out better all that stuff it's 8 34 and ryan's about to come home and then we're just gonna go to home depot I'll probably just vlog on my phone to be honest because i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of stairs in home depot with a big camera I just got home from Home Depot. We got the paint. Literally the first color I picked up that I was like sure it was like the perfect white. It ended up being in like the purple section and it ended up being like actually kind of purple. It's so weird. Um, but then we asked the girl and we just got like pure white. I guess I'll just end this vlog here and start a new one tomorrow and then that will start the moving vlogs. If you want real time updates, go follow me on Instagram. It's so underscore gnarly without the G and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.